Lighters up, Sagittarius. Hey, it's your girl, the Stoner Girl Tarot, and I am back with another video. I hope this music isn't that loud. Let me turn it down. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me, Sagittarius. This is your weekly reading, and it's for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's also for the Cross Watcher. If you haven't already, roll up with me, light up with me, drop down in the comments, let me know what you're smoking on. If you don't smoke, no worries, you're still more than welcome. Alright, this is a general reading, not a personal one, so take whatever applies and let the rest fly. So, Spirit has instructed me to use my Angel Oracle deck for the readings this week. Okay, so I'm going to put this out and get to your reading. But keep the party going, keep the party going. Alright, so, Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius for the next seven days? Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius for the next seven days? Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius for the next seven days? Some of you are thinking about moving or um, there could be some type of... I don't necessarily feel pregnancy with you all. I mean, some of you may be pregnant, but what I feel is like a lot of you are... Um, interested in decorating or changing the way your space looks but angel Serafina wants you to know that she is the angel of families a happy change or addition is coming to your family we also have angel Ariel some of you are especially because we have that full moon in Pisces coming up on the 10th of September some of you are like tapping into your spiritual gifts and so angel ariel wants you to know that psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself allow your spiritual gifts to open some of you like i said before you want to you want your home to be more comfortable so that you can meditate and you know spend time with your spirit team spend time with your ancestors and then yeah so this is confirmation this is angel Indriel, and basically she's letting you know you're a light worker you're supposed to do this so some of you are thinking about you know becoming some type of spiritual worker it, it could be tarot reading astrology some type of healing work um it may seem scary but angel aurora wants you to know you're flying high right now and it may threaten others but don't come down because soon others will become inspired by you so you could be someone could be watching you on social media someone that you don't even know and you are inspiring this person to move forward and tap into their spiritual gifts okay but yeah Sagittarius a lot of y'all are um, looking for comfort looking for stability I already shuffled these cards. I just always feel the need to shuffle them again. But, um, yeah, so let's, let's see what else is coming up for you this week. Sagittarius, bottom of the deck, page of swords. Um, this is like petty gossiping, fighting. Um, or Some of you are just being paranoid over something that you think somebody did or said behind your back. This is also dealing with somebody that is not a really tactful person or maybe Sagittarius you are dealing with a situation in a very non-tactful way somebody's handling you in a non-tactful way you know just somebody just being real tacky Let's see what we got so yeah your stability like a lot of you with the four of wands in reverse a lot of you don't feel secure and it may not even be like on a financial tip it could just mean like um I, I don't like the way things look i don't like the way this place makes me feel it could also deal with your job like some of you just need to take time off from your job some of you you know need to use some vacation time pto time whatever some of you are you're like you live with your significant other your spouse and there's something that has happened that has made the household unhappy with the eight of pentacles here in reverse 
some of you could just be spending this next week organizing your home you know doing some spring cleaning in september there's a need here like i said again to make things more comfortable for you some of you are in a situation i'm being told where you had to leave or move out from somewhere and now you're at a place where you're by yourself and you really want your space to make you feel safe and secure stable um but yeah some of you need to organize some of you are trying to get acclimated to a new job because eight of pentacles in reverse talks about you know leaving something behind and starting a new beginning nine of cups here means a message of love could be coming soon um this could be coming from someone that hasn't let go of you or you haven't let go of this person um with a death card in reverse this could this could be a, a scorpio that you're dealing with but if that doesn't resonate next to the knight of cups here not only are you you know you may be dating you may you know feel comfortable in your skin after you know being in a situation where you did not your confidence is back you want to date and the death card in reverse is like you know you want something new you want new energy and maybe that's why again i keep feeling like a lot of you need to change something in your home um you need to make it comfortable for you i'm also feeling like some of you are in luck if you've been looking for a new job you're taking someone up on their offer because your previous place or your current place of employment it is not making you feel good you don't feel stable you don't feel secure there what else spirit you feel the need to have a conversation with someone with the ace of wands in reverse um, it could be vice versa. So cross watcher, the Sagittarius may want to have a conversation with you. This also means like you could have gotten um, disappointing news. You know, maybe that relationship that you're in, it doesn't work out. Or maybe, you know, you're having a conversation with this person and they're telling you, you know, you need to let go because I've moved on. Um, and I feel like someone wants to say something or someone needs to get something out. What is this about? There's like a delay. Like if you've been thinking someone is going to reach out to you, they will, but there's a delay. What is this about? So this is the full card in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. Someone is just hesitant. Someone um, could also be going through bouts of depression right now. So you could have con conflict with your person and it's because they're just going through shit. They got a lot of mental shit going on and it may have caused them to pull away from you, Sagittarius, or vice versa. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? How does Sagittarius this person feel about them? That came out funny. Nine of Cups in reverse is right here and this talks about, you know, someone's desired outcome didn't happen. Um, someone is not happy with you or the situation itself Ten of Cups is like this. So someone's been rethinking or they're, this was a painful ending and it may have happened recently. And if so, they're in between, you know, moving on and rethinking the past. So I think this is what is covering their feelings for you, Sagittarius or Cross Watcher. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say this person is conflicted. They just, as far as when they're thinking about the situation, they're between, okay, this situation hit rock bottom. It can't go anywhere else. They're in between that and rethinking, you know, maybe I acted harshly or I said some shit that I shouldn't have said. Someone is definitely, this person is definitely stuck in their head about you, Sagittarius. Um, 
they have a lot of issues. They probably have isolated themselves and don't really want to talk to anybody. If they haven't, if you haven't talked to this person, like I said before, somebody and everybody is stressed right now. You know what I'm saying? So someone may the stress that they're going to may have played a big part in the situation. Seven of Cups here in reverse. They know what they want to do. Um, this conversation up here, I feel both of you want that. Because here, Seven of Cups in reverse can mean, you know, okay, I got some clarity after being confused. I now see everything for what it is. Ten of Wands here. It landed like this. Um, like I said before, somebody is stressed the fuck out. This could have been a situation where, you know, if the two of you did fall apart, it's like I got too much shit going on. I don't need anything else. Um, they're very burdened by this as well. You could be dealing with someone who's very ambitious as well. Tell me more about their feelings for Sagittarius. Toxic energy here. They could feel that you're toxic. The situation is toxic or it is restricting them from someone feels restricted. Like they can't be who they want to be or they can't have what they want to have with you. Someone could have just a nasty ass ego right now. They don't got besides themselves. Um, the Ace of Cups in reverse talks about this breakup. And it also talks about someone, you know, in pain, pulling back. And with the Hermit card in reverse, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Like, I, I keep feeling like so whoever there's someone in a situation that's dealing with stress. Like, it's really, really bad. The Hermit in reverse talks about someone who could be in depressed and depressed someone who could have depression and because of that they're being antisocial um they could also be isolating themselves because they miss you but they may not be ready to make amends or talk to you so what's the outcome for sagittarius next seven days someone is being very stubborn so oh we have the Emperor and the Empress here in reverse. So this is Taurus energy as well as Aries, Aries energy. Someone is being stubborn. Someone is being an asshole because they can. And with the Empress in reverse, someone is not happy because of that. You could be dealing with someone, Sagittarius, who has money issues right now. Um, the two of you could have broke up over another woman or another man. With the... Um, High Priestess here in reverse as well. This is Sagittarius and Pisces energy. It could definitely uh, deal with another person. Maybe the argument that you had was over another person. Um, there's sexual tension here. Someone is like, hold on, what else? It's like there's a lot of pain here. There's two people who are in pain. One is going to deal with it by just, in, you know, getting heavily involved in their work. And somebody is just going to work through the pain. It's very painful. Um, and it's painful because this was a lost opportunity. Someone views this as a loss, a lost opportunity. Um, I lost my opportunity to be with her. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This also talks about someone who's very insecure. And maybe someone doesn't want to deal with that. What else? Nine of Pentacles here talks about someone who is content, someone who's happy finally, someone who is comfortable living with their truth. Um, this is someone who has financial gain. 
This is also someone who is looking for love as well. Like I said up here before, Sagittarius, you know, someone you could have this situation could have like gave you a, a boost to your self-esteem and you want to go out there and meet other people because whoever you have been dealing with. They got too much shit. And although you may care about them, you want what you want. And you're just looking at this as a lost opportunity. Emperor in reverse. They have, they feel the way that they feel. Empress in reverse. You feel the way that you feel. It was a lost opportunity. This could also involve, you know, an issue with a third party. Someone is just choosing to be single and someone is like, OK, well, I'm I'm out here. You know, I know I, I got a lot to offer. I know what I bring to the table. Like you ain't the only person that I can be with. And that may be how you feel after you talk to this person, because the both of you feel like there's a need for a conversation. So I'm going to draw a crystal oracle deck. I went over way too many minutes. But I'm going to draw a crystal oracle card. Whatever card comes out is the crystal that can help you with the desired result that you want. D I can never remember how to pronounce this. Is Diotes? Diotes? And I've never seen this crystal before. So this crystal is good for your heart chakra and you know a lot of you need it because a lot of you feel a lot of grief and or regret over the way that things ended and this crystal is to connect you to answers from your place of compassion and emotional truth you know your truth in this situation and it's this energy from the crystal will help you stand on that okay so Sagittarius that felt a little scattered, a little all over the place. But yeah, drop down in the comments. Let me know if this made any sense to you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you later.